Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV. Today, fourth day in the month of August, year 2022. My name is Morire Revila Lawal. First are the major headlines for the national news. ASU, students will state something. Tinumbu's ambition will start breaking APC. Primate, are you really? Again, Oyo loses another first class monarch as Onjo of Okeho joins his assessors. Insecurity, make Nigeria a police state, Olubo to Buhari. Terrorists setting up camps in Lagos, Oyo, Ogun Forest, Ghani Adams. Suspected bandits kidnap, kill traditional ruler son in Taraba. Gunmen kill seven in fresh play to attack. Now the news in detail. The leader of INRR, Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodele, has issued a warning to President Muhammad Buhari over the impasse with the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU. Primate Ayodele warned that students will soon state something serious if Buhari fails to resolve the ongoing ASU strike. The cleric disclosed these in a statement signed by his media aide, Olua Tosi Osho. Primate Adele also disclosed that the ambition of the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate Bola Tinumbu will break the party. It disclosed that more people would decamp from the party to support other candidates. Primate Adele described the announcement of Tinumbu's candidacy at the beginning of APC's death. Tinumbu's ambition would divide the party, more people would decamp from the party, and many things will exposed about APC. There will be a wrangling between the party stakeholders, the announcement of Tinumbu as a candidate marked the death of the party. They can't come together again, he said. To a tragic incident, Oba Rafiu Oshua Lale Onjo of Okeo in Kadola, local government area, or your state, has joined his ancestors. Success sources within the palace disclosed the passing away of the revived monarch. As at the time of filing this report, cause of the death of the monarch has not been revealed yet. I repeat to the monarch. To the next story from the national news, the Oluwo of Iwo, Oba Abdul Rashid Adewale Akombi, has urged the President Muhammad Buhari to make Nigeria a police state. Oba Akombi disclosed that such would entail President Buhari directing the recruitment of five million youth into the police to strengthen the country's security architecture. He gave these hints in a statement signed by Ali Ibrahim and made available to journalists in Oshogo on Sunday. The traditional ruler who expressed concern over the deteriorating state of the national security reminded President Buhari that as a commander-in-chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces, this step will also aid in tackling Nigeria's in rising insecurity. He enjoined the administration to develop a dig digitalized base and means of identification for Nigerians to enhance effective policing, while admonishing the government to implement policies that will give more credence to the security architecture of Nigeria. The monarch advised that such moves should not be limited to recruitment of more personnel, but also better funded by the way of increasing the monthly salary of security operatives. Still on insecurity, the IRA honor car for of Yoruba land, Ghani Adams has alleged plot of terrorists to attack Lagos or your honorable state. Adam said intelligence report at his disposal showed that terrorists were setting up camps in forests in Oshu or your Anobu. He disclosed this in a statement issued by his media aide, Kende Adiremi. Adam said the terrorists were seen with a large catchy of ammunition. He ordered the Southwest governors to use local security agents in tackling the impending attacks. Adam said the terrorists would never be allowed to attack the Southwest. Information reached me today is that the terrorists are in between Osu Forest and Ileife, or Shu State, fully armed with various ammunition, and they are presently in the forest between Abeokuta and Ibadan, planning to attack us in the southwest, he said. Recall that Adams had said the security challenges and the state of the country showed that Nigeria was walking into collapse. Still on insecurity. The traditional ruler of Yukumben Chipdom in Takum local government area of Taraba State was reportedly killed by gunmen suspected to be bandits. Platform Times report that a suspected bandit also killed his driver, who is also his son. 
Plafon time gathered that the gunmen had kidnapped the traditional ruler and his son on Thursday in an ambush while returning home from Takum, the headquarters of Takum LGA, before killing them. The disease king's first son, who is also his secretary, Pastor John Ibrahim, disclosed that the victims were gruesomely murdered while on their way back to the chiefdom. He said, My father and brother were taken on a web by these suspected militias. They decided to travel on a motorcycle, leaving his official car because of our dilapidated road network. Platform Times also gathered that the traditional ruler, who was scheduled to attend a peace meeting in Takum, decided to return home because the meeting was postponed. Ibrahim could not ascertain why the bandits, who have been terrorizing communities in Yatun, Special Development Area, Takum, and Usa, local government areas, have decided to court short the lives of his father and brother at the same time. From that story, we'll go straight to another insecurity killings and um, right in the country from the two states. No fewer than seven persons have again been killed in just South local government area of Plateau State by gunmen suspected to be eight men. The killing is coming less than 24 hours after 18 other persons lost their lives during a clash between bandits and members of Regionality Group in the Wasi, local government area of the state. The National Publicity Secretary of the Berum Youth Mulders Association Wang Teng Wang confirmed the latest killings in Joe South LGA to the Punch in Joe's on Monday. Teng Wang said seven people have been confirmed dead at Dendan Chu Beach community following an attack by Fulani militias. The attack happened on Sunday, 31st July 2022, at around 9 p.m. Others who sustained serious gun injuries have been taken to Von Christian Hospital for immediate medical attention. The authorities of security agencies in the state, including the police and the military special tax force in charge of peace maintenance, were yet to issue any public statement regarding the killings as of the time of filing these reports. That concludes the national news from BGI TV. But before we go, some quick headlines. Also, students will state something. Tinubu's ambition will start breaking APC. Primates are really. Again, or your loses another first class monarch as Onjo of Okeho joins his ancestors. And lastly, we brought to you Gunmen Kill 7 in Fresh Play 2 Attack. For more updates on our YouTube channel, the handle is Baba Bagede Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Select option all to access our broadcast. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawiye Adebayo. Please like and follow the page to enjoy all of the broadcasts as well. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. And I tell you for more updates of all of, of adverts and so much more, which contains advert, the phone number streaming on your screen is a direct line to call strictly for advert placement. Thank you for watching. I am Maureen Ray Rabila Lawal. Good afternoon.